So, what are you going to do today? Eat some worms, fly, poop on people. Do you think those kindergarten kids will have another big wild adventure today? I do, and it's not fair. We never have big wild adventures. Ah, maybe someday. Hey, look, there's a guy wearing a nice hat. Let's go poop on him. Come on. Yeah. Bombs away! What? <laughs> oh, man, this is a brand new hat. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Arnold. I have an important announcement. I will not be here tomorrow. <gasps> Are you leaving us? Did you get a new job? Did you get your superpowers back? Are you going to be Captain Fantastic again? Can I be your sassy sidekick, Fantastic Boy? No, 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 no. Calm down. I'm just going to my first retired superhero meeting. Phew. So, tomorrow you will have a substitute. What's a substitute? That is a person that comes to teach you when your normal teacher can't be there. Will the substitute be a superhero? No, it will be a regular person. So I will remind all of you for the 115th time, you cannot use any of your superpowers in front of them or anyone else, and never reveal your secret identities. Oh, oh, but what if something really bad happens? Like a five-headed monster attacks us? Then the five-headed monster rule will go into effect, and you could do it. What's the substitute's name? Do you know them? No, I don't. It's only for one day. And I'm sure they will be very nice, and you will like them, and have a fun time. Superhero Kindergarten! I wonder if the substitute will be a man or a woman. Nice or mean? Good or evil? Human or animal? Ladies and gentlemen, it could be anything. Today, class, we will learn how to cook a child for lunch. Will someone please hand me that eye of newt and toe of frog? over the days of the week in order. Monday, Tuesday. We already know that. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Saturday. Run! I am your substitute. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to, and the first and last words out of your mouths will be, Sir! Do you understand that? Sir, sir yes, sir. sir! March! Double time! I'm gonna learn to read and write. I'm gonna learn to read and write. Even if it takes all night. Even if it takes all night. Instead of finger painting, I'd like to show you how to turn a boy into a frog. It's all in the flick of the wrist. <laughs> and now into a fish. Superhero Kindergarten!
Ah, I'm worried about how the kids will do with the substitute. They really don't want to go to this meeting. I mean, it would just be a lot of old superheroes talking about their glory days. I'm not an old superhero. I'm a senior superhero. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I fought Bad Breath Man? I did? Six times? Really? Well, it's a great story. I mean, his breath was so bad. Superhero Kindergarten! Ready to go in? I have a bad feeling about this. M m maybe we could find substitute kindergartners to take her place? Hey, you guys, the substitute might be really nice and friendly. Man, what kind of rainbow candy colored Disney dream world do you live in? Ugh. Okay, let's do it. But remember, be ready to go full on Super K and attack if we need to. Good morning, children. How wonderful to see you all. My name is Miss Miggins, and I am your substitute. I hope we will all have lots of fun today. You had me a good morning. <laughs> Let's all sit down on our colored squares. That's not the first thing Mr. Arnold has us do. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you tell me your name and what you do first? I'm Patty. First, we put our lunches in our cubbies. Thank you, Patty, for letting me know that. Hi, substitute lady. I'm Billy. Are you married? No. Do you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, sweetheart, significant other, partner, special friend, main squeeze? No, Billy, I don't. Oh, she's practically perfect in every way. Superhero Kindergarten! Hello, I'm Arnold Armstrong. I used to be Captain Fantastic. For heaven's sakes, I know you. It's me, Lobster Woman. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't recognize you without your shell. I donated it to the Superhero Hall of Fame. Excellent tax write-off. You should donate your cape and mask, too. No, someday I will get my superpowers again and go back into action. <sighs> we all think that's sunny. Ready, Rangers? With Cartoon Channel, you can explore new worlds without leaving where you are. That's so cool! And it's free. Discover favorite characters and brand new shows in one place. Cartoon Channel. Download now. Now we'll do some art. Everyone, draw your favorite animal. Substitute lady? What's your favorite animal? I want to draw that. Well, I do like pigs. Me too! from Is that a pig? What is going on? Where did those blocks 
bullets come from? I made them! No, um, Billy has a big imagination. They came from the box over there. That sounds like a real life pig! Um, no, that was me. We're doing a play called, uh... The Pig Who Hid Behind the Wall! <sighs> Superhero Kindergarten! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I was practicing my line. I only have one line. It's a small part. Remember, Veek? There are no small parts, only small actors. Who said that? Stanislavski. Gesundheit. Superhero Kindergarten. And when I fought Zipperman, he kept getting his cape stuck in the aforementioned zippers, which was both humorous and very fortunate for me. I thought Spiritire Man was a super villain. He is. He forgets sometimes, and comes to our meetings by mistake. Is he sleeping? Why is he? Good question. Hey, Spare Tire Man, are you dead or sleeping? I am Spare Tire Man. Feel my wrath, smell my rubber. I will run you over. Ugh. Now I'd like to read you a story. It's a Greek myth and was written almost 3,000 years ago. Once upon a time, there was a big, strong man named Hercules. Was he as strong as me? <coughs> Pedro! Um, I mean, as strong as I'd like to be. Yes, Hercules was very strong. So one day, Hercules had to fight a terrible monster called Hydra. Um, Substitute Lady, is this story too scary for children ages five and six? It's not too scary. But if you get frightened, Billy, you can sit on my lap. I'm frightened. <sighs> Hydra was a monster who had five heads, and each time Hercules cut one off with his sword, Another one grew back. Excuse me. Hello, kindergarten room. This is Miss Miggins, the substitute. Hello, this is Arnold Armstrong. I just wanted to see how things are going and if the kids were doing anything uh, strange. Not at all. Everything's fine. They are six wonderfully behaved children. They are? I mean, yes, uh, they are. Uh, well, thank you very much. Goodbye. I don't like it. The story is too slow-paced and there is not enough action or conflict. It is the writer's fault. Excuse me! I'm trying to create something here called art. Art schmutt. We're going to talk to the big boss and let him decide. Superhero Kindergarten! Who rang that bell? He did. We want to see the big boss. <gasps> the big boss? What? You can't see him. Nobody sees the big boss. Not nobody, not know how. Go away. But we've come such a long way. I'll be back. That is called action. This looks exactly like Headmaster Danforth's office. 
They must have the same decorator. <clears throat> Sorry to bother you, big boss, but we need more action and conflict in this episode. But Mr. Fancy Pants over here, he wants to create art. I'm trying to entertain and educate. And maybe win an Emmy or a Humanitas Award? Hey, I'd even settle for an Annie Award. We have known each other for many years. But this is the first time you come to my office to visit. And now you come to me and you say, I want action. And you say, I want art. This is what I will do. I shall flip this coin. Heads, it's action. Tails, it's art. Superhero Kindergarten! And Hercules fought the five-headed Hydra Beast, but then she killed him. The end. Um, when my mom read me that story, Hercules won and Hydra lost? Well, this is the new Greek myths for modern girls. All the men lose and all the women win. Oh, look, it's nap time. Oh, gee, maybe I'll take a nap too. having a dream about me and Miss Miggins on our honeymoon in Salzburg. Uh, are you playing I'm in trouble, help me? I want to play. You guys, wake up, wake up! Huh? Uh. Miggins is bad. She's trying to find the bunker entrance. Walker! Patty, Patty! Cray, Cray! Power Pedro! Jackson Jet! Lady, you picked the wrong kindergartenist to mess with! Super Gaze, prepare for battle! Look out, it's Hydra time!
a lot of action going on. Guess who lost the coin toss? Substitute lady, I loved you and you broke my heart. You're getting blocked. Thank you, Super Villain Disposal Service. Thank you for using us. We've been safely disposing of Super Villains since 1999. And we guarantee not to have them show up in a sequel or a prequel. We had to use our superpowers, Mr. Arnold. She had five heads. You did the right thing. She was so nice. And so pretty. Unfortunately, you can't always judge a book by its cover. And she had a really nice cover. It's like the great Roman poet Virgil said, beware of Greek mythological creatures disguised as substitute teachers. From now on, no more substitutes. Hello. We know there are thousands of dedicated, hard-working substitute teachers, and we salute them for the great job they do in our schools. Only a very few substitutes, at last count only 7%, have multiple heads and are evil. Thank you. Shots Garage! Pedal to the metal, racing down the highway, got a party or a problem, you can call us anytime. Hey. Vin Diesel is the strongest, Go. Klausi is the fastest, Gronk is sweet and happy and is smiling Whoa. all the time. It's Shots Garage! Hey! It's Shots Garage! Oh! It's Shots Garage! Hey! I am Shaq. Welcome to my Shaq Pack. Check out Shaq's Garage, part of Cartoon Channel. This is Greenville Super News. The annual charity chess tournament is coming up, and guess who's going to be there? Former governor of California. Star of the Captain Fantastic movies, and famous bodybuilder, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He will be playing the Russian teenage chess prodigy, Natasha Badinsky, the eccentric, serious, demanding diva of chess who apparently has not smiled for 12 years. They will be playing on the famous King Stockdale chess set, made in the 13th century and rumored to be cursed and or have magical powers. I hope prize for beating Mr. Schwarzenegger will be good one. I will be very mad if it is not. Can we meet Mr. Schwarzenegger when he comes to Greenville? Can we get his autograph? Will he say, I'll be back? I want some good Hollywood dirt. Can he teach us how to do bodybuilding poses? Quarter turn. Front double biceps. Rear double biceps. Front lat spread. Rear lat spread. I wonder if you all closed your eyes right now and made a wish. Would Mr. Schwarzenegger magically appear? Yeah, let's do it! Is this a trick? Only one way to find out. I'm excited to meet the famous Super Case. <gasps> he knows our secret identities? 
Calm down, it's all right. Mr. Schwarzenegger is a member of the inner circle. Who knows, maybe someday we will work together. What's your favorite Captain Fantastic movie? Do you do all your own stunts? Do you really have a tank? Tell me everything you know about Sylvester Stallone. Are you gonna try and change the Constitution and run for president? <laughs> One question at a time. I have to go down to the bunker for something important. In the meantime, behave. Mr. Armstrong, I was just passing by and... It's our principal. She thinks you're Mr. Armstrong. <laughs> Hello. I was just teaching the children about chess. Chess? It's a fantastic game. It teaches you how to plan, how to problem solve, and it improves your concentration. It's really a great game. I started playing when I was eight years old. Now the queen is the most powerful piece. It can move any straight line direction in any number of squares, but to win, you must attack the king. I got a haircut. Do you like it? No, I don't. Well, carry on. Chess, eh? Ha, <laughs> you fooled her. Oh, I love to play practical jokes. Nice job impersonating me. I did it in all the Captain Fantastic movies. Um, Mr. Schwarzenegger, are you worried about playing on a chess set that's supposed to be cursed? No. I do not believe in curses. But if something strange did happen, I wouldn't mind having the supercase there just in case. I wonder if you close your eyes and wish for six tickets, they will magically appear. <laughs> Open your eyes! It was the star of a big musical on Broadway called Billy Get Your Blocks. Oh, it didn't happen. Well, things don't just happen by wishing alone. You must work very hard in order to achieve something like that. I mean, just like Natasha Patinsky. She worked very hard to become a chess champion. Mr. Schwarzenegger, do you think you'll win your chess game against Natasha Patinsky? Well, she's a national champion. Most likely I might not win, but I would try as hard as possible and have some fun too. Superhero Kindergarten! <laughs> Mr. Schwarzenegger! Could you please sign this limited edition replica of your mask from Captain Fantastic Three, The Final War, until the next one? Of course. Who do I make it out to? Just put to the most super awesome dude in the universe. Also known as Kevin. Okay. <laughs> so, so, you're a big fan of Captain Fantastic? Yeah. I wish I could have met the real Captain Fantastic. You can! He's standing right! Now let's go inside. Superhero Kindergarten! Mm -hmm. 
So, you are a big muscle man movie star governor person. I must play chess with? It is a pleasure to meet you, Miss Patinsky. I'm a big fan of yours. Of course you are. I am the best. Hi, Miss Padinsky. Can I please get a picture with you? No pictures! Do not talk to me, small child person. Go. Sorry. I shouldn't have asked her for a picture. It's not your fault. You did nothing wrong. I mean, you asked very politely. Some people are rude and mean like that. But remember, it would be a lot worse to be here and to act like that all the time. Where is Pillow? I must have three-inch Pillow or I leave. Pillow, no! Yes, ma'am, sorry. Here it is. Thank you for coming. I am Miss Guggenheimer, president of the museum and recurring character. Where is chess set? I want to see. Of course. Here is the legendary Stockdale chess set. Miss Guggenheimer, why do they say it's cursed? Well, there are many stories and legends. Some say it was made by a wizard and has magical powers, and the pieces can come to life. King Stockdale, the original owner, said that anyone who played on it and lost the game perished. Let us play. Good luck, Natasha. <laughs> oh, I do not need luck. I practice eight hours a day, every day, for 15 years. I am best. Now, should I beat you fast or slow? Give me your best game. Ready, Rangers? With Cartoon Channel, you can explore new worlds without leaving where you are. That's so cool! And it's free. Discover favorite characters and brand new shows in one place. Cartoon Channel. Download now. I will be providing expert commentary on the game for those of you watching at home. Natasha moves the little white thing that looks like a bathtub plug. Schwarzenegger moves the man on the horsey. Natasha moves the grumpy-looking woman sitting down. Schwarzenegger moves the man that looks like my Uncle Ernie. You are not bad, but not good enough to beat Natasha. Checkmate. Gotcha. <laughs> Congratulations. Fantastic game. I win, you lose. Now, where is prize money? Um, there is no prize money, Ms. Bedinsky. So do I get car? Computer? Refrigerator? Trip to Disney World? No, this was a charity match. We're raising money to keep the museum open so people in our community can learn about art and history. What? I waste time for no prize money. No meet Mickey Mouse? So I could call him to send you to Siberia. Uh, we do have a free t-shirt for you. I would not use for rag. Uh, I want something great.
I would like to give you a prize for best worst person I've ever met. I leave now. Never come back. I have one word to say to you. Elliot! Miss Patinsky, before you go, I would like to thank you. Thank me? For what? For teaching my class what a mean, selfish, ill-mannered, impolite person is, so they will never act like that. There's something worse than a sore loser, and that's a sore winner. Oh, snap! Ugh! I showed them. I can't say I'm sorry that she's gone. Thank you for coming, Mr. Schwarzenegger. We raised a lot of money tonight. Oh, you're welcome. I believe it is very important that we give something back. And here is a little something extra. Oh, my. I wouldn't call that little. Thank you, Shen. Auf Wiedersehen. Would you like to join us for dinner? I mean, there's this excellent Japanese Austrian fusion restaurant called Sushi Schnitzel. Fantastic. Oh, wait. I forgot my T-shirt. Well, we'll meet you outside. Good. I'll... Return in a timely manner. Take home real prize. I need bag to put in. Cleopatra's purse, 30 BC. Oh, goes with outfit. at Skylight so alarm does not go ring, ring, ring. Natasha, you great chess player and great thief. The Schachspiel is weg. Stop! Mr. Arnold, do you think he's ever going to say, I'll be... Hey! Natasha is not only impolite, bad-mannered, and conceited. She is a thief. She took the Stockdale chess set. Suit up, super case. <laughs> Meek, Jackson, Pedro, get up there! Get to the elevator! Put it down! Put the chest set down now. I will not. I deserve this. 
You work very hard to be a great chess player, and you are one. But you need to start working on being a great human being. So give me the chess set. Never! Then I will take it. How? With a little help from my friends. The super case. I see only four. Four plus two is six. Good adding, Billy. Thank you, Mr. Arnold. Let us see if legend is true. Ad vitam et oxidites. Translation. Come to life and kill. I guess the legend is not true. Look! They're getting bigger! I've been wrong before. Like when you turned down Die Hard? Yes. Let the game begin. Night to Schwarzenegger! I got him, Mr. Schwarzenegger! What? Where'd you learn to do that? I played Conan the Barbarian. He was very good with the sword. King to Flying Kid! Queen to Strong Kid! Ooh. Uh. Ah. Queen to Stretchy Girl! Pedro, Queen! Big, stick it to her. Lynn, draw a chessboard. King, Queen, Knight, to starting position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy, knock him up. <laughs> Checky matey. Superhero kindergarten. Okay, let me know what prison to come to. Thank you all for saving the chess set and Cleopatra's purse. The Super K's are always here to help. You know something? We work pretty well together. Will we see you again, Mr. Schwarzenegger? Don't worry, Super K's. I'll be back. With Cartoon Channel, there's something for everyone. Yay! You can make the world a safer place with Rainbow Rangers. We did it! Sing along with super simple songs and have a watch party with the whole family. <laughs> Discover new places and new faces and go on a gaming adventure with KC Play Mix. GG! <laughs> Best of all, it's safe, fun, and free. Awesome! Catch up with old friends like Dr. Seuss and make new ones in Stan Lee's Superhero Kindergarten, all in one place. Download Cartoon Channel. That's Cartoon with a K.
<sighs> okay, I give up. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Come on out. Did you see where they hid? No. Maybe they learned how to be invisible and they're standing right next to us. Ugh. 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 We won. What is the matter, Pedro? We're playing hide and seek, and I couldn't find Patty, Veek, and Billy. And I said come out, and they won't come out. Veek, Patty, Billy, come out. Recess is almost over. Stop service to the planet Kreblak. Are you a good alien or a bad alien? Please say good alien. This is a recording. I wonder if they're gonna do experiments on us. <gasps> Maybe they're gonna eat us. I don't want to get eaten. What do you think they taste like? Chicken, hot dogs, pancakes? Mm. Um, they might be nice aliens and we'll have fun. Ugh, Beak. Are you kidding me? In practically every single alien movie, they drool on you, and eat you, and try to kill you! That is true. 85.5% of aliens in movies are evil. Ah! Superhero Kindergarten! They are not here. Everyone inside. We need to find them under Tracker 9000. We will be landing soon. Please fasten your seatbelts and return tray tables to upright position. We know you have a choice when being abducted by aliens, and we thank you for choosing Space Liner Spaceships. We didn't choose you! That was a joke, Patty. Jackson Jet! They are in the Andromeda Galaxy, landing on an unknown planet. Do you think aliens took them? It is possible, but we will find them and bring them back safely. Jackson, turn on our holograms in case Principal Shalzalat pays us a visit. Turning on! <laughs> Mr. Arnold, how are you going to go to space? Well, I was saving this for a surprise. The Super K Space Shuttle.
Greetings, Earthlings. I am Kahili. Don't eat us. We taste super yucky. If you eat us, you'll throw up and poop for days. I promise I am not going to eat you. Why did you capture us? <laughs> capture you? No, no, no. You are three lucky little Earthlings. We are? Yes. You were personally selected from over seven billion people to appear on my fabulous TV show, Aliens Got Talent. What? Where do I sign? I send spaceships around the galaxy collecting contestants for my show. You will get to perform with the chance to win big prizes. Perform prizes. You will each do an individual act of your choosing. The audience and I will rate you, and then we see who wins. Okay. And then we can go home? <laughs> it's showtime! We land on planet Kreplach in five minutes. Wow! I can't believe we traveled one million light miles that fast! I set the speedometer to artistic license. Ladies, gentlemen, Vardros, Manchus, Prepops, Clapdoms, and Gong Greeks, it's time for Aliens Got Talent! And here's your host, put your hands, feelers, claws, tentacles, and pictures together for Cow! Good evening. Tonight we have three very special contestants from a little planet called Earth. But before we meet them, let's see how last week's final contestant, B. Alistock, did singing that old favorite, I want to wrap my tentacles around you and squeeze you until you pop. <laughs> Now, let's see B's scores. Oh, oh dear, three X's. Looks like B has to go to the black hole of doom. Do you think the black hole of doom is a bad place? Uh, yes. Well, now, studio audience, and our friends watching at home, what do we say? Goodbye, B! Yeah! Oh. Man, that really hurt! But I'm still alive, so it's not that bad! Wait, what is that big, ugly thing coming towards me? No! There will be a memorial service for B tomorrow at noon. In lieu of flowers, please send donations to the Kahili Foundation. Now, let's bring on tonight's contestants. Patty, Billy, and Vic. I wouldn't believe it. Unless you enjoy going through laser beams that will cut you in half. Yeah. You can't do that! That's illegal! My planet, my show, my rules. Now, let's see what prize we have tonight for our winners. It's an all-expense-paid weekend at the Groffa Spa and Resort. Enjoy swimming pools, hot tubs, tasty snacks and beverages, and be totally pampered. Ooh, I want to be totally pampered. Billy, if we lose, it's the black hole of doom! Shots Garage! Pedal to the metal, go racing down the highway. Got a party or a problem, you can call us anytime. Hey. Indies 
Diesel is the strongest. Uh, Klausi is the fastest. Uh, Gronk is sweet and happy and is smiling uh, all the time. It's Shaq's Garage. Hey. It's Shaq's Garage. Oh. It's Shaq's Garage. Hey. I am Shaq. Welcome to my Shaq Pack. Check out Shaq's Garage, part of Cartoon Channel. I gonna do for my act you can stretch all over the place and bounce around and Billy can make blocks and sing 254 show tunes all I can do is stick we are an invisible boat so they won't see our ship big Patty and Billy are inside that building here's our first contestant Give it up for... Billy! I'm an intergalactic super guy When I visit friends I never have to knock I'm known all around the universe But building my Billy Rock blocks I can rescue a damsel in despair My mom says I'm clever Shall pass without a ticket. Mm, uh, uh, uh. Ah, here are our tickets, sir. Um, my name is Veek. And I stick. Um, ta da. Now, let's see all of our contestants' scores. How did Billy do? How did Patty do? And how did Veek do? Oh my, no one's ever gotten three girl stars. Veek is our winner! What? And they booed for Veek. Yes, precisely. On this planet, yay means horrible and boo means amazing. And we love sticky things. So, Veek, you have won the weekend at the spa, and Patty and Billy are going to the black hole of doom. <laughs> Got to get through those laser beams or turn them off and rescue them. Superhero Kindergarten! Does that sound like somebody bringing us ice cream and cookies? No, Billy. Rider with
would let the two best characters in the show get eaten? No, I guess not. Wait, are we the two best characters in the show? Yeah. I'm a strong, fierce, smart, empowered, multicultural girl. And you're a boy who's sensitive and likes Broadway musicals. We're totally winning Emmys. <laughs> I hate that biter. You said he wouldn't need us. How are we gonna get out of here? Mr. Arnold always says, our greatest and most powerful superpower is our brains. We gotta think of something. Right. Uh... I got nothing. Hey, I bet Mr. Arnold and Lynn and Pedro and Jackson are gonna come rescue us. But what if they don't? What if we have to live in here forever? We could put up curtains. Blue or green? Billy! I'm not gonna live inside a stinky old monster. Oh, uh, uh, excuse me. I am not a stinky old monster. I take a bath every day and oh. I... Uh, sorry? Hey, why'd you eat us? That's my job. I have to eat anything that falls in the black hole of doom. Do you like doing that? Honestly, I don't. I wanted to be on the show, but Kaylee said no. He wouldn't even let me audition. I'd probably fail anyway. He said I didn't have star quality. <laughs> of course you have star quality. I do? Yeah. I got an idea. Get us out of here so I can tell you. OK, but it's pretty disgusting. Uh, you don't want to see this. <laughs> Teacher, Mr. Arnold, tells us not to be afraid to fail and don't listen to people who say no. You need to go up on stage and stand up to Kahili. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. I'd be afraid. You? Afraid? But you're a big, fat, giant, scary monster who needs major dental work. No offense. I, I, I wouldn't know what to say to him or how to say it. I can never find the right words. If I knew what to say, maybe I could, but... Don't worry. I'll tell you exactly what to say. Look, some surprise visitors from Earth. Come on stage and perform. Lasers off! We're here to rescue our friends. Release Paddy and Billy from the Black Hole of Doom. Sorry, that's not part of the show. Laser Cage! And now you all need to take a little trip to the Black Hole of Doom. What the? I'm afraid that is not going to happen. <laughs> Zazbot, what are you doing up here? Get back in your hole. Um, no. How dare you defy me? You do not belong up here on this stage. Go! <laughs> What was I supposed to say? Remember, you're gonna be great. Sing along and take pictures. <coughs> and I'm telling you, I am not going. Don't rain on my parade. I dreamed a dream. I'm defying gravity. I am not throwing away my shot. I have confidence in me, Oklahoma. <sighs> yay! Yay! <sighs> Good heavens! What got into you? Broadway musicals. <sighs> what can they do? Thanks, 
thanks to you two for encouraging me to stand up to Kahili. Our teacher, Mr. Arnold, taught us that. You are an excellent teacher. Thank you. Can you turn off the laser cage so none of us gets cut in half? <gasps> oh, right. Sorry. Uh, turn off laser cage. <laughs> I'm very glad you're all okay. Thanks for coming. How'd you get here? We've got the space shuttle now. Awesome. Wow. And that means you can come back and visit. <laughs> Hey, are we still live on TV right now? We are. Well, Zazbot, now you get to finally perform. Hey, what do you do anyway? I do interpretive dance. La 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 la. With Cartoon Channel, you can explore new worlds without leaving where you are. That's so cool! And it's free. Discover favorite characters and brand new shows in one place. Cartoon Channel. Download now.